Earlier on, we learned that in the SIR model, the relation between R0 and the exponential growth rate of an epidemic in a mainly susceptible population is described by the equation R0 equals 1 plus the growth rate R times the average duration of infectiousness D. As we discussed earlier in the SIR model, the mean serial interval and the mean duration of infectiousness is the same thing, which we write as D here. In the SIR model, infectious individuals are always equally infectious, and the duration of their infectious period is exponentially distributed with mean D. In this module, we develop a more general approach, which allows for a more complicated distribution of infectiousness, which we capture in the serial interval distribution. The equation we use to calculate the relationship between the exponential growth rate of an epidemic and the basic reproductive number is called the Euler-Lotka equation after the two mathematicians who invented it. It is a famous equation in ecology where it describes the growth of animal and plant populations and demography where it describes the growth of human populations. It is usually presented as a fact without comment, but here we describe how to derive it and we will do so in the context of infectious disease epidemiology, where it describes the growth of epidemics. To relate R0 to exponential growth and serial interval, let's first take the perspective of R0. Suppose that an infected person is creating new infections in a fully susceptible population at a rate n of a when he has had the infection for a time period a. We call A the age of the infection, how long the person has been infected. Over the total course of the infection, the person infects R0 other people. So R0 is just the integral of N of A from infection age 0 to the end of the infectious period. Since that infectious period may be arbitrarily long, we say that R0 is the integral of N of A from 0 to infinity. N of A is highest when the person is most infection, infectious, and it is zero before the infectious period and after recovery. Now, we can normalize N of A by dividing it by R0. This gives us the function G of A, which, we, which is the relative infectiousness of an individual with infection age A. This is a probability density function because we have defined it so that the area under the curve, or the integral of it, is equal to 1. We call this probability density function g of a and name it the serial interval distribution because it is the probability that an infected person makes a new infection when they are at infection age a. The figure the figure at bottom right shows an estimated serial interval distribution for influenza with a mode around three days and a mean a bit higher. So here we have a relationship among R0 and N of A, the instantaneous rate of causing new infections when an infected individual has been infected for time A, and the serial interval distribution which we call G of A. Now let's take a different perspective the perspective of the growth of the epidemic, which we assume is growing exponentially at rate r. Let the incidence of new cases at time t be b of t. If we compare it to the incidence at an earlier time, a time units ago, we can see that the current incidence is e to the ra times the incidence a time units ago. That is just exponential growth, and that's equation 1. Equation 2 gives us another way to calculate the incidence now. The incidence now is caused by secondary infections from people infected in the past. Consider people infected A time units ago. Each of them is contributing N of A new cases today because N of A is their, is their infectiousness rate. The total incidence today is the integral or sum of the incidence caused by all cases infected before today in proportion to the infectiousness of people infected various times in the past. 
that is equation two. On the next side, we will use the fact that we have two different expressions for the incidence now to make the building blocks of the Euler-Latka equation. To do so, we rearrange equation one a bit by dividing both sides by e to the ra. Then we substitute into equation two and obtain an expression with b of t on both sides. Then we can divide both sides by b of t, leaving one on the left and an integral involving n of a on the right, which we can rewrite since n of a is just g of a times r0. In either of these two forms, we have the Euler-Latka equation, well known in ecology and demography. Finally, we can divide through by the integral, leaving r0 by itself to get an expression relating r0, the growth rate, and the serial interval distribution g of a. This general expression is sometimes abbreviated using the notation on this slide because that big integral is called a moment generating function or a Laplace transform of g. r0 is 1 over the Laplace transform of g evaluated at minus r, but the Euler-Latka form is probably easier to remember.